Meat pastel, with its modern twist, has elevated pastel from an ordinary meal. Affordable, delicious, and inspired by the young energy or the energy of young students, it is a business built on heart and innovation. Behind this success story is the bold vision and passion of Brico Galeon. To tell us more about the culinary buzz, we have with us Brico Galeon live, the owner of Meat pastel. It's a beautiful day, Brico. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello He's po. so young. Good morning. Po. I know. Good morning. Po. I was like, oh my God. I mean, I don't, batang, batang negosyante. Batang negosyante. I don't even have to ask for your age. Just looking at him like he's so, super young. I tell you, he's 23. 23 years old. Oh Grabe. my God. And you already have so many business. One of them, of course, is Mipa mm -hmm. Still. And you brought with us samples of your food. Let's talk about your business. So when did this start and what inspired you to, you know, uh, put a twist to the ordinary pastel? Um, Nag-start po yung mi pastel actually last year lang. Mm. Mm, okay. So we started po ng eight branches ng sarili. Tapos, Casual. Eight Sorry, branches eight branches. Eight branches. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, this guy literally... Slow start, slow start. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Tapos po, um, by after four months to five months, mm. doon na po kami nag-start magpa-franchise. Then, kasi po dahil nagpa-franchise kami, um, yung eight branches na po yun, nag-arawain na rin po sila. Mm -hmm. So, by that five months, nagpa-franchise uh, nagpa kami. Then, after a year po, umabot na po tayo ng at least 150 150 branches, branches in just a I'm year. Like, that is amazing. Crazy. So, can you tell us, paano mo binago yung pastel? So, what makes uh, your pastel so special? Yun po. Um, yung pastel po kasi, um, natikmang ko siya before nung college pa ako mm. sa Manila. Mm. Tapos, um, merienda ko po siya. So, bakit ko siya ginawang business and ano yung bago sa kanya, yung pastel po, yun po yung nakatulong sa akin para mag-save mm -hmm. ng mm -hmm. ipon mm -hmm. dahil uh, mura lang po siya nung nasa college pa ako. Mm -hmm. Like 15 pesos, 20, may rice ka na, may ulam ka na. Mm -hmm. So, busog ka na, uh, masarap pa, tapos nakaipon ka pa. So, yun yung gusto kong i-portray din dito sa business na to. Na okay. Kapag i-business ko siya, makakatulong ako sa mga estudyante, sa mga employees na may mabibili silang food na mura ngayon. Yes. Na, na masarap. Busog ka na, masasarapan ka pa. Correct, so, correct. Because I didn't grow up here, I actually don't know what a yes. pastil is. Yes, can you still? Okay. So, okay. Please tell me. Uh, I feel fast. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it looks amazing and I'm so excited to try. I just don't know. Oh, so, ano nga yung pastil? Oh. Sige, go. Explain so, ang pastil po is galing talaga siya sa Mindanao. Okay. So, okay. Muslim food po siya. So, halal oh. siya. Bawal po ang pork. Mm -mm. And, ang nagpapasarap po talaga sa pastel is yung um, nag-originate siya sa binabalot po siya sa ano, banana leaf. Oh, I love anything mm. wrapped so, yung aroma po leaf. ng banana leaf. Tapos yung rice, tapos yung um, pastel. So, kinakain lang po talaga siya. Uh, I-open mo siya, tapos kamay. kamay. So, oh, yeah. Can I do that siya. today? I'd yeah, it. actually. Oh, may gloves po oh. tayo. <laughs> kaya, kaya nandito like, si uh, Pao and Monique, they, they want to check yeah. out the food so, already. Ano but before, that? explain mm -hmm. mo muna yeah, okay. what you brought for us. So, ito po yung twist na ginawa natin sa pastel natin. So, ang pastel po talaga, ma'am, is ito lang po siya, rice okay. and chicken. Mm -hmm. Tapos, ang ginawa po natin twist para uh, may uh, uniqueness po yung business natin is mm -hmm. ginawa po natin siyang boodle fight mm -hmm. in one plate. So, okay, andyan po okay, lahat okay. ng favorite okay. ng mga ah, that's Pinoy. that's why it's all here. Yes yeah. po. So, may talong, may banana sweet, kamati, salted egg, and yung egg po natin. So, ganyan ang pag-serve mo when they go to your restaurant? Yes po. Ganyan may ang isa ano, po. Parang ano, mini boodle. Yes po. Okay. A personal boodle. Yes diba? po. Not yeah. good for, ano, uh, sa'yo lang, solo mo. Correct, correct. No sharing. Kasi sometimes you don't want to share. Yes po. You want to play by myself. Go, go. So, take your pick. And then, what are beside them? Yun po. So, ito po yung mga bago. Ito po yung nag-start tayo. Chicken pastel. Yeah, that's original. Tuyo pastel. Tuyo? Tapos, ito po yung dalawang bago natin. Okay, ano yan? Which is yung beef pastel and yung crab pastel. Crab pastel. Crab pastel is 100% crab meat po siya. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, so, allergic also shellfish. So, Mo, you wanna try the crab? No, I actually wanna try the chicken. I wanna try all, but I wanna try the chicken because I've never had pastel. Okay, sige, sige. Mauna ka. This is my first time having chicken pastel. Pwede ba magkamay dito? Okay, so, habang uh, nagko-consumption shots ang aking two partners. Tell us, no, you mentioned kanina, you have now 150 branches and you were able to achieve that in a year. That is so amazing. Yes. Grab
Grabe. So, I bet it's a challenge to oversee, you know, all these branches. So, anong ginagawa mo to maintain the the consistency of the food in all these branches? Number one po, ma'am, is minimaintain po namin is yung commissary. Yung mm -hmm. mga supplies namin, dapat right. na maintain namin siya okay. ng quality. And, um... Lagi pong masaserve ang lahat ng franchisee. Mm -hmm. Number two po is meron po tayo mga admin na constant na tumatawag sa kanila. Kina, kamusta? Ano mm -hmm. bang sales? Kamusta ba yung ano bang need na marketing nila? Mm -hmm. And ano pa yung mga bagay na gusto nilang i-add doon sa store nila. So, yun po. Pangatlo, ma'am, is syempre yung constant na pag-innovate ng mga pastil na wala pa sa iba. Like, one step ahead ka lagi kasi, ma'am, Uh, nung nag-start kami nito, marami oh. pong gumaya. Lalo oh. na po itong Boodle Fight ah, talaga? Pastil. Okay, okay. Apo, so, laging po kami um, nag-meeting, like, na nag-experiment ng bagong pastil. Okay. Para, if may gagaya man ulit, okay, meron tayong handa para dyan. So, oh. this is one of the many businesses uh, na sinumulan mo. Mm. Yes, may takoyaki business ka, may fried rice business ka. Bakit yung next step was pastil? Kasi syempre, yung mga ibang offerings mo. Mm. Ang ibang cuisine naman yun eh. So, mm -hmm. parang, parang ka nakarating dito? Dahil, sir, yung uh, may down moments din po kasi mm -hmm. that time, nung mm -hmm. sa first two businesses ko. Mm -hmm. Tapos, bigla na-discover ko po si Pastil. Then, parang yun po yung chance ko na makabawi dun sa previous na two businesses mm -hmm. ko. Ah, so, ito okay. po yung parang, okay, lahat po ng natutunan ko dun sa two previous so, ko, previous businesses. dito ko po lahat ibubuhos. Right. Wow. And would you say this is your strongest business to date yes. that you've put up? Mm. Yeah, I mean, 150 branches, that's crazy. <laughs> Casual. Ma may yeah. na, may na lang yun, uh -oh. it, it yung simula niya. Uh -oh. <laughs> but, but where is your main branch pala? Uh, Tarlac. In Tarlac? Yes, po. Wow. I'm sorry, it's a Um, Medyo lang po. Medyo, <laughs> medyo <laughs> lang. Slice. Medyo lang. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, but ka nang simula? You're 23 years old. Ba't ka nagsimula in terms of uh, yung entrepreneurship journey mo? Kasi syempre, iba siguro yung motivation mo in the start of your, well, yan nga, yung uh, entrepreneurship journey mo. Um, nung nag-start po talaga ako, sir, is uh, first time kong nakaipon that time nung college. Okay. Tapos, main reason is na bigyan ko po ng regalo si, si father ko. Mm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tapos, parang ano lang, ang sarap sa feeling na okay, Aww. nakapag give back agad ako at this age. Tapos, okay, okay gusto ko siyang gawin ulit. Okay. Tapos, second reason is, syempre, nung college, sakto lang po yung baon. Right, right. Oo, right. oh, oh, yes. Kaya nga yung kain mo eh. <laughs> <laughs> diba, sir? Mm. Tapos, nainggit ako sa mga ano, klasiko na may, ano pa, yung tipong nakakapag milk tea. Oo, oh, oh, eh, yung may ano extra. Yung ulam rice ko na yun. Correct, so, ko correct. So, yung nakakainggit kasi sakto-sakto lang yung sa akin. So, doon ko nag-start na, uh, may in-start pa po akong um, selling shoes before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. doon po ako nag-start tapos nag-transition po ako to food. Okay. Tapos doon ko na po natutunan lahat. Ang galing. Oh, that's so inspirational. At 23, know, at 23. Grab it. At 23, I don't know what I was doing. What, we, what were we doing when we were 23? Definitely not thinking of a business. <laughs> not thinking of, yes, or the future. Exactly. We were just really, like, having fun. Yeah. yeah. So, Rico, for, of course, you have also, not your only business, me. Coffee shop. Coffee, yes. Oh, coffee shop. Come, I want to try it. Yeah, I want to try that coffee. I'll yeah, of course. But yeah. for those wondering of how they can franchise, how they can reach out Thank to you, you uh, how can they, how can they do so? And of course, uh, how do you encourage them to do, to do it? It uh, uh, come to tayo. Okay. Um, bali sir, ito pong higop naman. Um, kaka start lang din yung last. Four months, mm -hmm. then again for going 12 branches. 12? Si in four Higo. months. This guy, I, we gotta talk to you. If you're in business, you gotta call Brico. Because, man, what he is, is your secret? Like crazy. Passion, oh. that's his yeah. secret. Mm -hmm. Yes po. So, um, kung may mga gusto pong mag franchise, yun po lagi ko pong sinasabi, number one, is check po nila kung ang franchise na yun is strong in terms of marketing. Mm -hmm. mm, Kasi yun mm, naman mm. po yung first na mapoprovide ng isang franchisee. Pangalawa po, yung sistema po na kung anong meron yung franchise. Mm -hmm. Kung um, may tinatawag po na yung apat po na hinahanap sa isang franchise. Okay. Which is yung which system, is? marketing, tapos yung commissary, plus lastly po yung consistency. 
So pag po yun, pasok po lahat, yun po, franchisable po siya. Ah. So, lagi ko po nire-recommend na hindi lang po sa akin yung tignan nila, tignan din nila yung iba. Iba, yes. Then, kapag yes. nakita na nila, pwede silang bumalik sa amin. Right. Kung okay ba. <laughs> so, uh, actually, no, we mentioned kanina na it's not just food that you're into. You also have barbershops, correct? Yes, bro. <laughs> wow. How many branches? <laughs> Isa pa lang. Ah, Isa pa lang. Not of but next slow, week, slow, it's gonna slow. be like 10 or 20. <laughs> yeah, next month, next month, K apat Kenneth, na. When did it start? When did the barbershop start? Uh, last two months. Two months pa lang naman kasi. <laughs> Like, uh -huh. after a year, I bet mga 7Q. At ibukas yung opening ng bagong brand. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Kaya pala na dito, na-invite tayo. <laughs> but you know what? I'm curious. Paano mo na mabalance yung time mo? You have so I mean, literally was just thinking that. Was yeah, yeah work-life like, balance. Do do like, how? How do you manage your time? Um, secret lang po is... Sec Akala ko secret. <laughs> I know. Hindi niya sasabihin. Hindi niya sasabihin. The ang secret po is, gumigising po ako lagi ng 5 a.m. Mm. Parang kami lang. Teka lang, wait. <laughs> I wake up at 4 a.m. Bakit parang <laughs> hindi ako ganun kaswerte? Uh, so, madalang... Ay, swerte. Billionaire your channel. Oh, yes, true. Yes. <laughs> Thank But you. 150 oh. branches, no? Okay, sige, go. Yun po. Um, lagi pong uh, practice ko is kagising na 5 a.m. Wala po talagang kahit anong sokmen. Ah, so, no social media. Pag no gising, social media? Diretso agad sa yes, work. Po. May one hour lang po akong inaalat sa akin para sa SOCMED. Siyempre, para makapag-post, makapag-edit din, pero kapag na... But that's basically parang work lang din. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. You so need parang, to have a TED Talk. This is so inspirational. Disciplina sa time oh. management. Yes, yes. Yes. Sobra po. Sobrang time management. We need that. Alright, Briko, maraming salamat. Can you invite uh, all our viewers to follow you wherever uh, they yes, can? Yes, so, oh. um, you can follow me po sa Facebook, Ang Batang Negosyante. So, yan. Tapos, open for franchise ang Mipa Steel and Higop. And syempre, yung barbershop natin. Soon, open for franchise na yan. And magtatayo ulit tayo ng isa pa this year sana. Tapos, yun guys. Thank you, thank you po sa pag-invite sa Thank you, Brico. Uh, thank you, Brico, so much. So, kung dumami yung mga franchisee mo after this episode, may commission ba kami? Oo. Oh, oh. Yes, bro. <laughs> yeah, okay. O, pag-usapan natin yan mamaya. Yan, oh. Ano record yan? I love it. It's recorded. Yes. You cannot delete that anymore. I'm gonna make a real mamaya. Oo, oh, 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 oh. sinabi niya, sinabi oh, niya. You heard it here first, folks. Well, thank, thank you, Brico. Thank you for the wonderful food and coffee.